Hello everybody, my name's Sheila and I'm here to show you how to make a little Easter chick. Um, I'll tell you first of all what you're going to need. You're going to need a big piece of paper like that. Um, I've used yellow but um, don't worry if you haven't got yellow because I made another one and in white and I think he looks just as good. Don't you? Right, um, you're also going to need some slightly smaller pieces. You're going to need another piece of yellow or white, um, six centimetres by twelve, and you're going to make the wings out of that. And you're going to need another piece of six centimetres by twelve in a darker colour. I've used an orangey colour for that one. That's for his feet. And then a small piece of orange that I've used six by three. That, and that will make his beak. So, uh, and you're also of course going to need some glue, uh, either sort of glue, um, some scissors, pencil and a ruler, and a little bit of yellow, uh, if you've got it, string or wool or something. So the first thing you're going to do, you take your big piece of paper, you're going to need to cut it, cut it in half, and then that will give you two pieces this size. So you the first thing you do, you put, put the piece down flat, you're going to make some folds in it. You'll see why in a minute, it's just to help you with the next stage. So you fold it in half and then in half again and then in half again. Just make light, light creases, it, it's just to, as a guide for the next stage. So you put that down flat on, on your table or desk, wherever you are. You take the bottom edge and you just you fold it up just as far as the first crease in the paper. Then you turn it over and you fold it up again. So you'll find that the creases will help you with this and so you keep doing that until you've done the whole piece and you've got a like a concertina like that then you need to find the middle of that concertina that's where you use your ruler and um, just find the middle just make a little a little pencil pencil mark in the middle and you take your piece of wool like that and you tie it round the middle where you've made that mark you might just need somebody to help you here um, to hold it down because you don't want it to come undone. So you just tie that round the middle and get the end. There it is. Okay, like that, and just um, cut the ends off. Okay, so you've now got you've got got got. You have two concertinas like that, okay? So the next thing you have to do, you're going to stick them together. So you take your two, you you start, start, you start folding them and holding them if you like. Anyway, you need to stick the two halves together first. You put your glue on, put, put a nice lot on so that they stay together. All the way along like that. Um, Hold them together like that. Just press it, press it hard so that it doesn't come unstuck. You might need to leave it just a minute or two. But I'll try and do it in one go here. Then of course you need to you need to stick the other two halves together. So put your glue on the on the edges like that, and very carefully just un unfold things like that. And, and press them, press them together, and then again, of course, again, the same with the other one, like that, and and, and do it and press them, just press them together. It's quite hard, as I say, because you don't want them to to come undone. So then you've got the body now. So next thing you need to do, of course, is make the wings. So you take your next size piece of paper and just fold it in, cut it in half. Um, and 
and then you're going to do with this you're going to do the same as you did with um, with the body and um, you, you fold it fold each piece in half but you only fold this twice you remember you folded the body three times okay like that and then then you, you put it down um, put it down flat and then and like with you did with the body you turn the bottom edge up to the first fold turn it over make the next fold turn it over make the next fold and so on until you've done the whole you've got the whole thing then you've got a little concertina now and in fact you'll have two by the time you've done both of them so I say you do it you do the same again with the second one you've got you've got your two wings there so you're going to need to attach those to the body so you put a little bit of glue on the end like that uh, and you'll find that they should just fit neat, nice, neat, nice and neatly inside one of these folds in the body. So just, just hold it just for a little while just to, to make sure it, it stays like that. That's one. Take the other one. Oh, wrong glue. And they are. Put that like that. And... You find a fold opposite your first one and again press it in and you've got you know, now your chick's got two wings right next you're going to need to make his beak so you take your little piece of orange paper and you fold it in two with the open edges at the bottom you actually you can make to help you can make a little just make a little mark in the middle of that bottom edge there and then from that mark to the corners of the fold you need to leave the fold there just cut along like that till you've got a diamond shape and that's his beak now I find that this glue this PVA glue actually works a little bit better on here but if you haven't got it I'm sure you'll manage with the you'll manage with the other one so you put Oh, and it comes out. Um, you put glue along just along the edge there, like that. Um, you find the middle, middle of your body there. Just press that a little bit like that. And finally, you make the feet. Again, you take your other piece of orange or whatever colour you're using that into two and now you need to draw a sort of finger shape so I'll just I'll, I'll draw it and then I'll show you I need three of them you might even use your own fingers as a guide if you you only need if you hold them together you only need to draw on one of them and you can cut them out together like that Round the shape that you've you've drawn on there, like that. And you've got then you've got the feet, and of course you glue those onto the body as well. So you take, I I do find like I said for the, it, as you're gluing onto the folds, this glue does actually work a bit better. You just need to put a little bit along the edge like that and the edge of that one and holding that up Oops. you put that just glue it to the bottom like that and you've got to glue those both on the bottom and then of course the, then you've got you're nearly there now you've got that far okay and the last thing of course you need to put on is his eyes um, as I say I've got the googly eyes but don't worry if you haven't because I'm sure you can you could draw draw two little white circles 
and, and draw the dark bits in the middle. So again you need you need your glue on there and put them where you think is the right place to put them. On your that's it, the one. And oops. Two bring me up. And there you are. There you are, put that on. And there's there's your Easter chick. That's not going to come off on my finger. Oh, there it is. There you are, you've got your Easter chick. So I hope you've enjoyed that. You might like to hang it up in your window of your poor Easter. So it's been lovely to have you with me. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Bye.